Before you begin, remove the battery, optical drive, base enclosure, primary storage drive, solid state drive, wireless module, and fan. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all cables for later replacement. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the optical drive connector ZIF connector and disconnect the optical drive connector ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard light ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard light ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad button board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the system board. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Peel back the retention tape and using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the display panel cable ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel cable from the system board. Disconnect the power connector cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the 7 4mm P1 Phillips head and 1 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Grasping the system board near the center, carefully lift the system board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Note, before installing a system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Memory boards, heat sink, real-time clock battery. Reverse this procedure to install the system board. Important, after system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI, and other settings.